Hello out there. This is DZ, your overlord, Desiran, and welcome back to Little Hope. <laughs> okay. So we're back in again. Oh boy. In the church. Uh, last time we decided to stay for the moment. Which is going to give us a chance to at least look around a little bit. Which could be good or bad. I don't know. I'm still hoping Angela is actually okay. We should take off while we still can. That thing has us boxed in. No one else agrees with you. Staying in here is the majority decision. We can't be splitting up again. After what happened to Angela? Sure, whatever. But this doesn't feel right to me. Okay. Don't like it. Don't like it one little bit. Also, I found a glitch. Oh! Premonition unlocked. Exorcism. Oh, that's good. Okay. So there is a way to help Angela. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. Double central. A secret found. A spitting image of that creepy Church creature. photo. Photo of a priest helping children in a school setting. Okay, so there's two, three, four, four more secrets for this. One for that. Okay. Anything over here? What's in here? Oh, what? Inspect. God has forsaken us. Great. Got here. What? No, look at it. Uh, there we go. A soul divided. In Hebrews four twelve, we read. For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. Commonly, we use the words soul and spirit interchangeably, but, though, but they are those parts of our being that make us up, but cannot be seen. Biblically, they are different. Spirit is our life force. It is that part of us made by pure made pure by Christ's sacrifice. The soul is those things that make you unique, such as your personality, your thoughts, and attitudes. Spirit and soul may seem the same, but God and Satan can divide the pure spirit from the often imperfect soul self. That duality is key to understanding scripture. There is a disconnect between spirit and soul. We are divided against ourselves. Our spirit is pure. When God looks at us he sees us blameless, but our soul, those things we struggle with in our heart, needs reminding of who we are in the spirit. It needs purification. Only isolation and sacrifice can bring us purity. Reverend Carson. Uh-huh. Okay. 
It's no secret, though. A sermon by Reverend Carson suggesting that it was possible for Satan to divide spirit from soul and that the soul needs purification through isolation and sacrifice. Sounds like more than Not one. Not going to that door. Fucking great. Listen up. It follows us when we move around. And we need to be quiet, like silent. Could be tracking us with sound. Little Hope Pastors, unreadable, 1658-1677, Lazarus Burgess, 88, Defaced, 82-92, John Fenn, Edmund Sturry, Solomon Temple, William Fox, John Cappell, John Unreadable, Nicholas Lay, Andrew O'Connor, Joseph Milton, Tom Parker, Reese Ward, M. Div, Dr. Richard Bradshaw, Ph.D., John Carrier. So what's the secret on that one? Oh. A monument to the church's previous pastors. The names for the early 1690s and the 1970s are scratched out, but can still be read. Simon Carver and Leonard Carson. Okay. Defaced. Oh, that's what it means. Defaced. Okay. 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 Something on the ground. Right. Parish it's newsletter. Been October 19. October 1971. Diocese of Pleasant River. Recently, parents have expressed concern that their teenage children are being tempted by the occult in musical lyric. In musical lyrics by innocent-seeming spirit boards are movies that glorify Satanism. This is not the first time Little Hope has been scourged by occultism. Manuscripts from the 1600s, carefully hidden beneath flagstones in the church rectory, were recently discovered. They were covered with disturbing scrawls in a cipher that revealed magical words and spells. It is believed the town's preacher of the time dabbled with magic and demonology. That was a dark time for the settlers. Times have changed, but Satan's work never ceases. The clergy today stand vigilant against occultism and are unlikely to fall into ignorance and error. But parents should be mindful of the fascination these things hold for the young, particularly rebellious youths. The danger is they fa fall into bad habits such as smoking marijuana and from there into the occult and disobedience to God. Parents should be watchful and where they see the signs, look to the church and or to and to God. So it's in our secret. Ooh, okay. Bunch of stuff lined up here. Old Fire advertised talk on the occult. The rumors of witchcraft within Little Hope seem to have some... A minister in the 1600s was involved, involved in occult practices. Minister Carver was obsessed with the occult. Uh, Did Reverend Carver turn to the occult after the law? Manuscripts from 1600 that were covered with occult symbols were discovered beneath flagstones in the church rectory. Okay. Uh oh. Don't go near the door. Where am I? Ah, fuck me! Huh? Let's go! I'm out of here! Uh oh. Oh no, 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 don't like this. Yep, don't like this. Uh, confront, escape. 
Uh. Uh. Oh shit. What? What just happened? Circle. Square. Square. Bearing updated. Okay, hang on, hang on. Daniel escaped from demon outside church. Okay, okay. Oh, this isn't good. Where are you? Taylor, come on! Talk to us! Uh, commanding. We gotta do something now. Hold on! We need to be calm. Fuck calm! Taylor's in trouble! Uh, Taylor, outside church. Okay. Oh no. Uh, go left. Is that you? I'm over here. Headstrong heroine trophy earned. Oh no. Should have went right. <laughs> uh, d -d -d oh no! Wrong button. Do it! Do it! Get out of there! Should've went right! Should've went right! Bonus feature unlocked! Oh, okay. They're together. Oh, bearing updated. Team Taylor. Taylor escaped from Demon Ed Okay! Okay! So far, so good. still in big trouble here. Uh, uh. I need a break. We gotta keep moving. Can't stop. No, wait. He needs a break. Forget it. Those things are coming after us, not you. We can't hang around. Uh. Indignant. Practical. None of us is safe. Not tonight. Bearing updated. John was practical with the others about the danger they were in. Okay. All right. What's our next move? I'm not sure. <clears throat> we should rest here for a while. Oh boy. <clears throat> no, Andrew. That's impressive. I wish. No way I could get any shut eye after what went down tonight. Would love to, though. I'm beat. Any ideas how we're getting out of here? Uh, thoughtful. The fog has us surrounded. There's no way through. We can't just do nothing. We need to figure out where the fog is coming from. I think the kid, Mary, is the key to finding a way through it. Getting to Mary, stopping her, might help. Sure, okay, but what about the other kid? The one that keeps running from us? Mary and her are connected somehow, I'm sure of it. Maybe the other girl is trying to... Okay, hang on, hang on. What bearing updated? The little girl. A girl and John, uh... Carver. Claimed to be innocent. Introduced herself deliberately. 
John declared, oh no, Joseph declared that Mary was evil. John was sure that Mary was the key to everything they'd been through so far. Where? Where? I don't know. Maybe to a place we can stop all this. Everything feels out of control. I don't think there's anything we can do at this point. Mary's the key to everything that's happened. The trials, the executions. Sure, but how are we supposed to stop her? Not even sure she's real. <laughs> Too late for us to do anything now. Bad it. This is over. Defiant. We have to try. We owe it to the others. And ourselves. Mary's the key to this. I'm certain of it. It's not that simple. And like you said, she's just a kid. We can't... Listen to me. We see her again. We do whatever is necessary. <laughs> What's that? Shh, shh. Don't. Hell no, that thing is back to finish me off. Get down. Take cover. It's heading straight for us. Keep quiet. God damn it. It's gonna be the old guy again, isn't it? Angela. Easy, Tiger. I'm a little tender. I thought you were gone. How in the hell did you find us? We thought, you know, we're all glad you made it. Stop it. You're going to make me blush. But thank you. No one messes with you. For sure. You are one tough lady. So the whole crew is back together. You rounded everyone up. Good job. Mm, not quite. <sighs> they found us. Right now, our priority is getting you safe. Let's go. We've come across okay. more of those things since you left us. The thing that chased after me was horrendous. Now you're telling me there's more of them? What in God's name are they? You okay without your glasses? I most certainly am. There is plenty here I don't want to see. You lost your glasses, but not your sense of humor. Good. You hear that? I heard it. <laughs> Sounded close, too. Just gotta keep moving. So I think around this point will be about four, probably a bit more than four hours in. Oh! Run! Go, go, go. God damn it, everyone's split up again. Professor? Angela, you there? Oh no. Daniel? Taylor? Huh? <laughs> oh. What? I hit it. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Guys, this game tougher. Where the hell are you? Daniel, that you? Oh. Get the fuck off me. Uh, uh. Just tail it.
Got it. Okay. Heroic. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh. I was gonna say, Daniel has a knife. Okay, what bearing changed then? Team Taylor and Lost. Okay, Lost. Uh, Andrew thought the girl he met in Angela... He and Angela met... met what? I thought you said this updated. Oh, telling John she was just a kid. Okay. Uh, agreed to cross the footbridge. Sympathetic about Daniel. Escape from demon. Andrew used Taylor's knife to save her from the demon in the wood. What? Andrew used Taylor's knife? Taylor did not take the knife found... Taylor did not take the knife found in the museum. Andrew used Taylor's knife to save... How does that work? Daniel's the one who took the knife, not Taylor, so... Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. How we got out of there in one piece, I'll never know. Hold the celebrations. We're still cornered in shithole central. And the fucking mutants are still out there. We gotta keep moving. Oh, God. Did, did Daniel, like, throw the knife it's over? Or? to conquer yourself than to win a thousand battles. Then the victory is yours. It cannot be taken from you. Not by angels or by demons. Heaven or hell. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Here to be. Three executions, three tormented beings, and not a soul lost. You're doing very well. Keep it up. Any thoughts on what might be around the corner, hidden by the fog? Something wicked this way comes. <sighs> <sighs> <clears throat> Okay. Find a way out of the woods, follow the trail, stick together. Okay, you know what? I'm. Oh, oh, dear. Okay, so I don't get stuck in an overly long episode. I'm actually going to call it here. That's actually a pretty good spot to take a break. I will be recording immediately, like in a minute, so it's fine. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. And check out links in the description for Little Hope on Steam. Although this is the PS4 version that I'm playing. <clears throat> okay, okay. Still not sure what happened there. I didn't think he used a knife to help help her at all. I, unless he found it? Maybe it just, as long as one of them was carrying it, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Okay, either way. So, in the next part, we will continue to push forward. We will see if we can find out what the hell's going on. Uh, I'm uncertain. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure. I still think this is more about the priest, the reverend, 
uh, than anything else. But we'll see. Oh boy. Either way, until then, this is DZ, your overlord, Deserad. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!